Hi, I'm Louis Peluso. Thanks for joining me today. Today I'm going to be reviewing Repitch. That is a new plugin from Syncroats, which is a vocal tuner. They also have like great plugins like Vocaline and Revoice. So go and check those plugins out. I'm going to teach you today how to tune a vocal uh, using the Repitch tool. I show you its main features so you can learn how to use it. If you're excited and want to learn more about music production, please subscribe and join our new community. This this channel is completely new and I would love you to be part of this. So the first thing we want to do is to open the plugin. So we're going to put a search, repitch, mono, perfect. And something that I really like is that the plugin window is resizable. And that's something that every plugin should have. So this is a vocal tuner. And the cool thing is that it will guess what key the song is in. And it will probably guess wrong this time because we are working on the harmony and not the main vocal. I'm going to choose now the preset called Snap All Notes to Center. That will make it very easy to use this plugin and I'm going to teach you how to use it. So first we have to just select what we want to tune and press I caption for it to read you. whatever we want to tune. And the voice is completely dry, it doesn't have anything. And like I predicted, it kind of got the key of the song wrong. It's not Hungarian, it's Lydian. And like I said before, because it's reading the harmony and not the lead vocal. So now I'm going to show you the main kind of controls for this kind of plugins. And it's similar to other ones. If we press Command and Option on Mac, uh, and Command is the same as Control in, in Windows, this will allow you to zoom in to the screen. And it's very easy to just go into a section. And Shift and Common will allow us to drag. So now if we go into one of the, our notes, we can see that it's already kind of read the main pitch. So now we have hotspots. So if we grab the selector tool and we just click on a note, we have different hotspots. The one on top will allow us to modulate and get the note straight. And on the sides, we can actually stretch the notes which is a really cool feature and if we press option and and we click on the sides we can actually tilt the note and make like a kind of slide up or slide down and we can actually do this on the other side as well so that's really cool so now we're going to have a, a listen and correct some of the things that it's automatically tuned so this note has too much movement so we're just going to grab the s and split the note. If we press the Q, we'll get the selected tool. And if we press D, we'll get the pencil. So I have two options. I can, with the Q, just modulate the note. Or with the pencil, I can actually draw in the tuning. And this might sound a bit artificial. I don't understand you. Same here. We'll have to cut this note a little bit as well. And if we press the Q and then double click, it will snap the note to center. So let's have a listen now. I don't understand you. I like this, it's, it's quite natural. This has like a similar workflow as Melodyne as well. It's really cool. Girl, you're breaking my heart. Girl, you're breaking. That should sound like this. Can. Girl, you're breaking my can. Mm. That should go there. Girl, you're breaking my heart, my heart. Let's just tune it a little bit higher. And sometimes vocal tuners, when they automatically tune something, they actually put it out of tune a little bit, which is a bit weird. And that is why it's so necessary to do this work manually. Girl, you're breaking my heart. That should go a semitone higher, so if we press option. Girl, you're breaking my heart. 
Girl, you're breaking my heart. Great, the rest is fine because I only had to correct the first two phrases. So let's check out the two vocal harmonies. I don't understand you. If we listen to the both vocal harmonies, we will realize that they both start and end at different times. So we can actually use vocal line and sync it to repitch to be able to use these two powerful tools. And it's great because vocal line uh, will grab the pitch and the shape of the waveform of the first vocal harmony and copy it to the second one. And it's important that you use the same type of harmony. If you choose another note, it won't work properly. So something I always like to do is to grab myself a copy of the track. So I just hit duplicate and I can have the original just in case I have to switch back. So I'm going to go ahead and open up vocal line and try to sync it. And if we click on this red square, we can actually leave all the plugins in the screen without them closing themselves. <laughs> so now we're going to put one next to each other. And the way vocal line works is that you have like the first line and the second one. The first one is to put in the guide and the second one is to put in the dub. So first of all, to be able to capture the guide, we are going to first go into our Repitch plugin and click on this button, select for vocal line to capture. And once it's green, we can click on capture and it will say from Repitch. So now we have to click on the track below and hit capture. And now it will align both tracks with their pitch and their time and we only have to hit render and that's it and everything is corrected so that's a really cool feature i don't understand you i don't understand you i don't understand you and inside of vocal line you can actually change lots of its features and presets and things to modify to make us happy Thanks for watching. If you're interested in checking out other magic plugins, click in this video.